Hello everyone and welcome to this eProlo dropshipping tutorial where we'll be showing you how to use eProlo for dropshipping. So whether you're having challenges with supplier arrangement, order fulfillment, branding, eProlo offers the solutions to streamline the process. And in this tutorial, we'll be talking about the features and what you might be able to do with eProlo to speed up your dropshipping processes. Now, if you're a beginner, you'll need to click on register, but if you have an account already, you will be clicking on log in. For beginners, go ahead and click on register, and then you'll need to put in some information right here, such as your email, your, your password and confirmation and your phone number. So after putting these information, we're going to click on sign up. Now on this page, you have the user questionnaire where you'll be sharing information such as the platform you're running on and the number of orders you need to process in a day. And we've made our selection. We selected other and here we also selected six to 50 per day. Click on submit now. So this page basically helps you understand the general process of how April works. So you get to import products from say AliExpress and then you get lower prices from eProlo and then save costs by selling on eProlo. And you can see about four steps here or four main points to focus on. Installing the AliExpress product import plugin and push it to your store, get a quotation for your product and then eProlo quotes for you and reduce cost and orders fulfilled by eProlo. So if you focus on these steps, the process of dropshipping would be clearer to you. So we're going to click on next. So here you'll find more information, but in this tutorial, we'll be taking you through some of them. Click on next again, and then finally click to close it. So now that we have our eProlo registered, as you can see, log out, this means that we're in, and we're going to be talking about the processes right here. So we're currently logged in, and the next thing we need to do is to go over to the right side area here and click on go to my dashboard. This will take us to our eProlo dropshipping dashboard. As you can see here, the centralization of dropshipping. Here you will see your account level, the orders that are pending, processing, total orders, product limit, and more details about your account. And on the left side, you can see we're currently in our dashboard, which we, of course, have seen. And then here you have my account. Now, this provides the status of your account. And if you're just starting with eProlo, you would naturally be in V1 and it goes up to V5, and you also have the product limits. So currently we're in V1, and we have a product limit of 500. And you can see some pros and cons here, or limitations with each of the tiers. You also get to change your currency right here, and you can see display currency is in USD, selling price currency is also in USD, there are lots of other currencies here, but we're going to leave it at USD, and if you make any changes, you can also click on apply to make sure it does apply. There are other settings here which you can use to customize your shop. And then when we go over to branding project, we can see different membership plans, membership plans for beginners and membership plans for experts. You also see the benefit of these processes. Now, of course, we're talking about dropshipping, but these details are important if you're trying to make a success of your dropshipping. For example, if you'd like to have a logo on your product, you need to have this information. And you can see here custom packing bag, custom label, and custom hang tag. Now, when we come back to our dashboard, we'd like to mention that you can easily connect your store by going over to the top right area here. And you can see connect store. When you click on it, you can see the number of stores that you can connect to in order to install. You have Shopify, WooCommerce, Shop Plaza, Etsy, eBay, Amazon, TikTok, ShopLine, and ShipStation. So for example, if you'd like to use the store type Shopify and you click on it, it's going to take you to this page where you can install an extension to your web browser, which will help you to connect and integrate with eProlo. So now we're going to give an example on the process of finding your product, comparing prices on, say, on AliExpress, doing your feasibility study before adding that product to your eProlo dropshipping service. Now, of course, at this point, you might already have picked your niche, which is important. That's why maybe you're here. So under all product section, you can see different sections. You can also see the product. Now, depending on your niche, you're going to come over here to select it. Now I'm going to say we're in the niche of consumer electronics, right? So we have consumer electronics, headphones, CCTV cameras, and all these gadgets. 
And so we're going to select this headphone, P9 Air Max wireless headset. Click on it, and here it takes you to this page where you can see some details about this. Now, the next thing you need to do in your drop shipping process is to compare the price. So you have a Prolo price, shipping costs, and the weight. And you also have some details here where you can compare the different angles of this product. You can also see the processing time, the shipping service, etc. Now, the current price of this product is $3.18. So, with this eProlo price of $3.18, we now have a benchmark to source for the same product in another website. So, we're going to go over to AliExpress, for example. But before we do that, we're going to copy the name of this product. You can see it's P9 Air Max Wireless Headset Bluetooth Earphones. But again, it repeats the same title or similar with phone, earphones, Bluetooth, earphones. So you got to be careful about this. So you're just going to copy what makes sense. So we have Air Max wireless headset, Bluetooth, earphones. So we're going to keep it at that, copy it. And then we're going to go over to AliExpress. So currently we're here in AliExpress and we're going to paste the same name, which we copied from eProlo right here. Awesome. So we can see the results here. You can see varying prices. We're going to go with what we have as the lowest because we're trying to beat the market. So we're going to see this as per our competition and we can click on it and you have the same product. Now this is supposed to be about $11, but you can see it's currently at 50% off at $5.52. And then we're going to go over to the shipping details and you can see the shipping is 815. So now we're going to do some pricing analysis and we'll bring up our calculator. And for this, we can say 5.52 plus shipping cost of 815. And the price is $13.67. Keep that in mind while we go back to eProlo. So here in eProlo, we're going to bring up our calculator again. And then we're going to compare the price. We have $3.18 plus $8.64 for shipping. And we have $11.82. When we compare the price with the previous one, you can see that you can see that on AliExpress, you're going to be spending this, which is $13.67. But if you're going ahead with eProlo, you get a better price at $11.82 with shipping. You also want to compare the shipping estimated time, which is 10 to 18 days. And when you go over to AliExpress, you have February 28th to March 17th. And the dates of delivery are very much similar. So with this, if you're satisfied with this process for this headphone, you can click on add to import list. Remember, if you connected your store, this will automatically push this product to your store. And if anyone comes over to this product and do a price comparison with what you have on AliExpress, they're going to discover that you have a better price. And when they make the order, eProlo will do the rest. So with that product added, we're back on our dashboard. And here you can see we clicked on find product to get there. And also you have products here. Now you're going to click on the drop down for products and you can see import Ali product. We're going to click on it. And on this tab, you're basically saying that you want to import certain products details from AliExpress into your eProlo. Instead of doing this manually, you can use the install extension to make it easier. Now we're going to go over to import list. And as you can see, we've already added this product, right? So you can see you're going to put in the collection, the type, the tags. These are details that you get to put yourself. And then you get to see the price. You have the different colors, you can leave them all. You have black, white, blue, green, and red, which is good for variety. And here you can see the cost in USD, the cost of shipping, the price in USD. And of course, this looks more than what you have on AliExpress, but since it's your business, you can put in the amount which is best for you while considering market competition. But again, you can go ahead and search for more products that are cheaper, where you can have more profit when you're trying to have your dropshipping business on eProlo. Now, after you've done the pricing business, you can go over to description and here you can see more descriptions of this product. So it makes things really easy for you. You don't need to import any details that are not necessary and you have your description easily populated. So with all of this done, you can go over to images, right? So you have images here and you can tick or unselect what you don't want, right? And then the next thing will be to push to store. Now, when we click push to store, will be faced with the option to add any of these stores. Over here in orders, you're going to see the details of your orders. And basically, this is all you need to have 
for a start if you'd like to make a success of your dropshipping here on eProlo. From creating your account, selecting your niche, selecting the product and making a market survey for feasibility studies of your product. So at this point, we hope you have enough information to make a success of your ePolo dropshipping.